Well, hello, and welcome to the seventh episode of the Game Dev Tutorials. Today, our main goal will be to scroll the screen around. Um, the steps to do so will be to fix the offsets in Hero and around some other parts of the game. Um, we weren't using offset when we set up Hero, so you know we have to make sure that's all working. We put offset into a lot of things, but maybe not everything. Um, we need to create a, de a delegate for checking the scrolling. Um, we don't actually have to use a delegate here, but it's easier to do so, and I like to do it that way, so that's the way I'm going to do it. Um, we only need to check the scrolling when the hero moves, so that's a little thing for efficiency there. And then uh, check if the hero is outside the designated area, and if so, then scroll the screen. And here's what I mean by that. So uh, when the hero is walking around in the middle of the screen, we actually don't want to scroll. We only want to scroll when the hero leaves in some direction some pre-designed box. Um, and I actually design, uh, defined it as uh, the middle 20% both ways uh, when I was testing it. So that's what we're going to use. Um, and so like if he moves here, we're not scrolling here, we're not scrolling here, we're not scrolling, we're scrolling here, scrolling here, 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 you know, anywhere in here, we're scrolling. And then it'll scroll until uh, it's in the right spot. Okay, um, let's get started. Okay, so first things first, we are going to go into Hero and we are going to fix him a little bit. And since he's important, I am going to pin him. Um, let me get the text size a little bigger. All right, so um, when I say we want to fix offset, we actually have them here. In world, though, we are passing in the offset coming in from main rather than the offset like here. Um, the, that offset is within world, so right there, okay? And we want to make sure that we're using that offset. And then hero, he's already using it here. So that's a minor fix um, that I had uh, inconsistencies with there. Um, so I wanted to fix that. Uh, and then now we want to go into game globals. And we are going to add a delegate here. And we're going to add check scroll. Uh, C-R-O-L-L. -L. Um, and that will uh, be the delegate we call to move things around. In world, we are going to create that delegate. Set it up. Let's see. Not create it. We're just going to initialize it. Game. You know what? We need the function. We need the function. So I think it's uh, check scroll is probably what I, I would call it. Let me think for a sec. Um. Yeah, let's just call it check scroll. Same as a delegate. It's it maybe slightly confusing, but um, check scroll, and then we have to pass in an object. I just always call it info, and then uh, we'll we'll get to the what we fill it with in a minute. Let's get this delegate set up. Game globals dot check scroll equals check scroll okay we've set that up now in hero um, we are going to have a little tiny bit of code that we need to add in here um, we're just going to create a quick bool and say um, check scroll false and then here if check scroll then game globals check scroll and we're checking the scroll against the position of uh, of our hero right because that's what we're changing and then in order for check scroll to become true so let's just copy this real fast we're gonna every time we change the position we're gonna check to see if, if we need to scroll the screen um, there are more complicated ways to do this for sure. Um, I guess I should go over that. There are three ways that uh, are commonly used to scroll the screen. One is to create a camera class and to move the camera around in order to scroll everything. Um, another is the way I'm doing it, which is to create just create a, a, an offset for each area that you need to have a different offset for and then pass it through your functions. 
And then the last one is to change the position of literally everything in your game. Um, the last one is a bad option. Um, I would not use it. I do not recommend it. Um, you're just going to get bugs up the wazoo in your game. Um, the camera option is a very good option. In fact, I've started using that more and more. Um, but it's also a more complicated option. And then you have this offset. Now, this is how I started doing things, and I still use it uh, from time to time in my games just because there's there's reasons specifically like you just need a quick offset for something that's minor, um, and you don't want to create an entire camera class for it. But uh, you can do the same things with the camera class as you can with just this offset. Um, just the ways of going about them are slightly different. Okay, so we are passing our position in here, and then in world... We have our wonderful class here, and um, this is where the magic is going to happen, is right here. And um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to convert our object to a vector2. So vector2 temp pose equals vector2 uh, info. Okay, so now we've converted it to a vector. That's great. It is what it is now. Um, sorry. Um, let's see. We're going to... First, we'll test X, make sure that works, and then we'll test Y. So, um, say tempos dot X is less than. Now, here's the key here: it's negative offset dot X. Um, it might be a little counterintuitive, but as the offset increases, you actually want to subtract it from uh, the screen width in order to find out uh, where you are in relation to your position or your hero's position, for that matter. Okay, um, and then we're going to add that to uh, game globals dot screen. Uh, no, not game globals, just globals. Globals dot screen width times point four f. Okay, um, so remember I told you I want the middle twenty percent. Well, so when we're testing left side, we want forty percent, so it's half of the screen minus half of the area that we're okay with the the unit the guy moving in. So half of 20 is 10%, 50% 50, 50 minus 10% is 40%. So that's where we're at there. And then um, we're going to say offset uh, equals new vector2. Um, let's see, offset x. Um, and then we're going to move it because we're going to the left. So we're moving the screen to the left. Um, so it's the opposite of it, so it's minus. Um, hero, speed, because we want to at least keep up with the hero. But just in case something happens and we get a bug, we actually want to make the screen scroll a little faster than our guy moves um, in order for the screen to catch up to our scroll, just in case something weird happens. Um, this isn't necessary. You could just say it's the same as the hero speed. And as long as you don't find any other bug, it'll work. But this will help catch up because it'll double the speed. All right, so, and then we'll do the other direction of X, and we'll come back and do Y as long as this is working. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to say um, it is greater than rather than less than, and then um, the other side of the 20%. Notice there's 20% difference between these two. Um, and then we are going to, uh, we are going to add hero speed. Um, nope, this one is the wrong one. Wait a minute, let me think for a second. It isn't the opposite, it's the, it's the regular. I apologize. Sometimes I have brain farts. They're late at night when I'm making these things, so. Alright, um, hopefully this will work. Let's, let's check it out. Let's, uh, see what happens. Let me drag over the project as soon as it opens. There we go. So we're moving, and there we go. Move that direction, move that direction. We can still kill all these guys if we want to. But um, those were our goals, was to get the screen to scroll the two directions. Great. Now we can just copy this, since it's working, and switch out the Xs and Ys. So you can literally take the Ys, swap them for Ys, and then we need to do this. Oops. And just paste it there. So Y's for the X's, paste that on the other side. Y's for X's, 
paste this on the other side. Okay, so this should now work in all four directions. So let's give it a chest. And we're here, and okay, we're scrolling up. We're scrolling down. Ooh, we had to get way too low for that. Something's not right there. Oh, and we haven't fixed the mouse problem. I forgot about that. All right, there's another issue to fix. Um, in Hero, we are testing these just against the mouse. We need to test them also against the offset. Um, hero. Just subtract the offset, just like with our, or with our hero uh, position. So here, minus offset so that will fix the guy not shooting towards a mouse anymore which is great and then here let's see screen height that's the problem mistakes are made all right let's give that a try all right that looks about right also notice it's now shooting back towards my stuff again um, now, one thing you'll notice from this is that uh, it gets a little bit disorienting after you have scrolled to where there's no stationary objects. So having a background, having objects to walk around, that will fix all that. And we will get to that soon. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys how to get your screen scrolling. All right. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you guys learned something. Um, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button. Let YouTube know that uh, you like the video. All right. Uh, I will see you guys next time.